Hey everyone, Sergey here from euchromedia.com and I am in my hotel room here in LA and we just wrapped up Adobe Max where I did some sessions. It was a lot of fun presenting the sessions and also meeting all of you guys. Thank you Adobe for bringing me here. And uh, I wanted to quickly jump on here to talk about one feature that just came out with the latest version of After Effects and Premiere. And this feature is so minor to probably a lot of you guys, but I'm super excited about it. If you know me, I am a huge fan of expressions and also motion graphics templates. And uh, this feature is the drop down menu and it is something that I've been waiting for a long time. I'll be honest with you, I've been waiting for it for a while now, but the drop down menu definitely helps us with motion graphic templates because not, not only can you create the drop down menu in After Effects and use it for like master properties and just rigging things up, but also we can export it into a something like Premiere Pro as a motion graphic template and it does support the drop down menu. So let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. So for example, I created this MLB wipe for Fox Sports. So if I click this in and drag it in, you can see that's what it looks like. Just a simple wipe, right? Well, now I can select this and I can instantly select which team I want in here. I can quickly just select a team like uh, Los Angeles Dodgers and automatically everything changes. So before I had to type that in, in like a text, I had to remember what I had to type in. But now with the drop down menu, it is super handy. You can pick any team you want and on the fly, you can adjust the team. Everything changes the colors. You can swap the colors. You can do primary only, secondary only. So you get the gist. It's super handy. Again, this list is awesome. You no longer have to guess and type things. You no longer have to remember that stuff. You can literally pick it from the list. So that's the first one, but let me show you the second one. So this one has to do with the NFL. So I created a bunch of different motion graphic templates for Fox for NFL. And this is just one of them, but let me show you how useful the, um, the drop down menu is. So I'm gonna click and drag and move it into our composition here or in our sequence, I'm thinking After Effects. So in here, Wait for it, takes a second to load. There you go. So this is what it looks like. Pretty quick. And by the way, it plays back very well actually. This Acer laptop is awesome, I love it. So I'm gonna select this uh, motion graphic template. I'm, I'm gonna go back to the edit here, but we have some options we can adjust. And uh, we can adjust things like the team, the drop down menu. So we can say, hey, I want it to be a team, and then we can see the team. Or I can say, hey, I want it to be generic and it's generic. So it kind of, it's it's cool that we can do that instantly, you know? It's very handy. You can say, hey, I want it to be team, but then also team like Chiefs, or let's do Jets, let's do 49ers. You get the idea. The colors, everything changes, but you no longer have to remember, you know, what you need to type. You can just pick the team from the list and it's very dynamic. The same thing for sides. You can say, hey, instead of the left side, I want it to be on the right side, and it goes on the right side, and it's super handy. But not even that, I mean, obviously we can adjust the duration. We can say, hey, this lower third be exactly right now five seconds, so exactly at five seconds it is gone, but we can alter this. We can say, hey, let's do seven seconds, and then exactly at seven seconds it's gone. Very dynamic. I love rigging this kind of stuff. It just brings me so much joy, especially the end result is so awesome. So then we have, let me do this. Let me, let's take it back to the left side and uh, let's pick a different team like Rams. Okay, so next we're gonna go to this player info and in here we have some drop down menus as well. So we have one for position and instead of remembering each position, you can quickly select from the list. So I can say tackle and you'll see it will change it to T if I pick something like safety, you'll see the S and so on. You can just kind of shuffle through all of them and it's very useful. I hope you're seeing how useful this is. I mean, it's very dynamic and you no longer have to memorize all these positions. You can just look at it like that. <laughs> very easy. And uh, what else? Jersey number, obviously you can adjust that. The cool thing about it, you can change the name. You can say Sergey, and it will automatically adjust. You can say Proknevsky here and it will adjust and it's dynamic. So whatever you type, it will adjust the shape. And if your first name becomes longer than the last, the longest text out of the two will always take the edge with it. 
And again, the animation, all that stays the same. You can turn off that by going over here and clicking on the checkbox and so on. So anyway, I just want to show you the power of motion graphics templates and also the drop down menu. It is definitely here to stay motion graphic templates, but the drop down menu just took it to another level. And it's such a simple thing, but trust me, it is definitely useful. It's something I've been asking for for a long time. And I just, I can't wait to show you what you can do with it. So in the next couple of days, I'm going to show you how to use the drop down menu. We're going to go over that. I'll show you three different ways of how you can use it, but definitely keep an eye out for that. But until the next time, my name is Sergey Fraknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.